Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to make mailing labels out of your Excel data. Uh, so this is a normal Excel spreadsheet. Notice how the first row contains your field names. That's very important. Each row after that is a different record, and each column is a different field. And it's also important here that you have one continuous block of data. Uh, so there's no blank rows and there's no blank columns all the way down. So this is how the Excel data should look. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to Microsoft Word because where we make our mailing labels is going to be in Microsoft's Word, uh, Microsoft Word's Mail Merge technology. So I'm going to switch over to Word. This is Word 2010, of course. Uh, so we're going to pick on the Mailings menu. Under Mailings, we're going to pick on Start Mail Merge. Now under the Mail Merge, you can make letters, you can make email messages, envelopes, labels, even a directory. So we're going to try uh, labels. Now when you do labels, you get to pick your label size. Now um, you can try some of these label vendors. I think the most popular one is probably Avery US Letter, but there's a lot of other vendors in there as well. All right, so I'm going to pick on Avery US Letter. And then that shows you all of the product sizes within Avery by their product number. Uh, in this case, we're looking for labels, and a really popular one is going to be 5160. This is your standard address label, although any one of these would work. You can, you can get these kind of blank labels at Office Max or Staples or any kind of uh, good office supply store. Uh, I'm going to click on OK. Now, uh, you can see that the document actually looks like the labels now. Sometimes these borders uh, occur and sometimes they don't. Uh, but usually that does occur when the borders appear like that. Now, the next step is to pick on Select Recipients. And uh, if you're going to use Excel or, or Access Data, you're going to use an existing list. Or you can even do the labels from Microsoft Outlook as well. But we're going to say use an existing list. That's going to bring up Windows Explorer. And from here, you're going to point to your Excel file. So mine happens to be in the My Documents folder. And it's going to be under this folder called Excel File uh, Files Fresh. And the file is going to be called address two. So you're pointing to the location of the Excel file or your access database in your computer. Now this screen is asking you which sheet the information is on. In my Excel spreadsheet, the data happens to be on sheet one. So I'm picking sheet one. And notice how it does say the first row of, first row of the data contains your feet, uh, column headers. And we know that ours does. I'm going to click on OK. So now we just associate it the um, Excel spreadsheet with the mail, mail merge here in Word. Now, what you could do at this point is you can also edit the recipient list. If you didn't want to send it to everybody, you can pick and choose who you're going to send it to. Now, as a default, it's going to go to everybody. But what you could do is uncheck those names so it doesn't print a label for that person. I'm going to click on uh, cancel that window. Okay. Now, you could insert the merge fields one at a time. You can get the first name, last name. These are all the field names from the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, but let me show you a better way when we're using address labels. We're going to use something that's called the address block. This gives you the name, address, city, state, and zip in one big field. Now, when you do the address block, you should make sure you pick on match fields because um, maybe Word might be looking for a field that's called first name. And maybe Excel calls it something different. So I would always go into match fields. Now let's see how we did. We have a, a match for the first name, the last name, the address, city, state, and zip. Those are the fields that I need. So in this case, it worked out pretty good. But I would still go into match fields every time because you never know if um, Word might be looking for a field and Excel calls it something different. I'm going to click on OK. And I'll click on OK again. Now, it's kind of interesting here. It put the address block only in the first label. So what you do is you come over here and you say update labels. That way, it'll put the address block in all of the labels. And now we're actually done. We're going to pick on finish and merge. And we'll pick on, usually I pick on edit individual documents so I can see what they're going to look like. And we'll click on OK. And just like that, we now have made mailing labels out of our Excel data. This will fit perfectly on the blank labels that you can get at Office Max or Staples. 
And you can see how we were able to take Excel data that looks like this and make perfectly acceptable uh, mailing labels here in Microsoft Word using the Mail Merge technology.